the stock market is on a historic rally. We've had news that there will not be a stimulus package until after the election. We're starting to see the number of cases rise again. And yet the market has been on a huge, huge rally. Now, these past few days throughout this backtest, we were preparing for a melt up scenario. We said over and over again, if the markets pop back into this price channel, it will trigger a short squeeze. It will trigger a short squeeze. We had the exact same thing happen right here, a false breakdown, a pop back into the channel, and we had a short squeeze. These signals work. They exist for a reason. Now, if you know how to enter at the right moment, you know when to book your profits, you know when to cut your losses, when it's not going your way, you are going to be extremely successful in the markets. And those three things are exactly what we're focusing on on the Game of Trades website. Now, the goal in trading is not to always be in a position. You shouldn't always be trading. The goal is to be profitable. Are we bullish right now? Absolutely. Do we think stocks still have room to go higher? Absolutely. But do we think that this is an objective buying opportunity right now? Absolutely not. But it is a very favorable time to hit the like button on this video. It is really appreciated. It really helps our videos get pushed to a wider audience. If you're buying right here after this huge, huge strong move, that's just pure fear of missing out. The dumb money is starting to buy right now. This was an objective buying opportunity right here. It was risky. We had a wedge pattern, a breakout. That was an objective buying opportunity. This was an objective buying opportunity right here. Let's zoom in. We had a pop into the trend line. That was a buy signal. We were even looking at the 3,400 point level. If it broke the level, that was an objective buying opportunity. Now, the question is what's going to be happening next in the stock market? Is this move over? Are we going to see a rejection right here? Or are we just going to head for a straight blow off top right now? Now, let's get into the four hour chart. And I want to show you something interesting right here. This is a secondary trend line, a parallel trend line on this price channel. The market loves symmetry. All these parallel lines will act as resistance and support. And so they are objective buying opportunities when they're broken and they will act as resistance when tested. You can see right here, right here. Now we made an update on the website showing this trend line during the pre-market hours. And we said that this trend line would likely act as resistance when it was tested from below and that a break of this trend line would offer a buying opportunity because once it's broken, you can use it as a support level for a stop loss. So that's how we trade. We raise our stops along the way. Our first stop loss was right here. Second one was right here. Third one was 3,400 right here. And now we're going to use the 3,485 level as our stop loss. Although that shouldn't be selling all your positions. We now are above major support right here. So this will keep upwards pressure on the price until this trend line is broken and it can be broken. We're not saying it's never going to be broken when it's broken. That's the time to start looking for shorting opportunities until it's broken. We have no reason to start being bearish. We're breaking important levels. We're putting support levels behind us. And so a stop loss at this level three, four, eight, five should only be a partial book of profits. Now, how much room does this move have left? Let's go back to the daily chart and we're going to go out straight and say it. This move still has a lot of potential. Let's look at the momentum right here, the MACD. This is a momentum indicator. We use it for so many indications on the chart and look at what's happening right now. We have a bullish crossover on the MACD. That's a switch in momentum right there. We had a bearish crossover right here almost at the top. That was bearish momentum. That was a nice downtrend right here. We had a breakout bullish crossover and now we're on bullish momentum. And the last two that we had was right here. This was a switch in momentum and that was the beginning of a major rally throughout July and August. And also right here, that was also the beginning of a big powerful rally to tag the top of this channel. And of course, at the bottom of the 
And of course, we had a momentum switch right here at the bottom of the March crash. So if we consider this to be the beginning of the rally, you can imagine that this still has a lot of room left to go. So as we said in the last video, we expect the October rally to be historic. It's the title of the video. We said it before this move here and the video before that was stocks are setting up for a massive rally. And so until we see developments that tell us otherwise, we are still expecting an October rally. That said, we are running into this resistance level right here. That's also something we covered on the pre-market update. And so you can imagine that buying in right here, right below this resistance level, is not an objective position at all. That is just FOMO. That's fear of missing out. So the initial short squeeze that we talked about, the initial move, powerful move up is likely almost done and we're running into that resistance level. But this is usually how a trend starts. And that's another thing that the MACD can tell us. If you know how we trade, you'll know this is significant. We have the MACD getting back into positive territory, all right? So the MACD has a zero line right here. That's the zero line. When it trades above that zero line, that's an uptrend. So we were so we were in an uptrend throughout this entire period right here. Throughout this entire period right here, we were in a downtrend. And so we had a bearish bias throughout this entire period. That's the reason why we were looking for shorting opportunities at resistance here because we had a bearish bias. And so getting back into that bullish territory is extremely significant. It puts us back into a bullish trend. All right. And especially coming right after a slight dip into bearish territory, that makes this a full bear trap. It was a technical bear trap and it's also a momentum bear trap. Let's zoom out. We can see what happened right here. We compared this correction to this one a few times. Same thing happened. We had a bullish trend before right there. Then the MACD popped into bearish territory briefly and then popped back above. And that was a major rally and that was a major bottom. Now we can take a look at the weekly chart on the S&P 500. This is extremely significant. And this is what I wanted to get to in this video. We're currently testing this trend line resistance again. This was a trend line that we had since 2009. It got broken in 2011. And then it was resistance for about nine years right here. Several tags of this resistance level, including the top of the correction. This is something that we covered a couple of weeks ago. Now we said in several videos, we expect the end of cycle blow off top to eventually break this resistance level and end in a real blow off top. Now we have to see what happens here. But if we break that level right now, that is a game changer and that could actually trigger even more short squeeze right here. I think a lot of people were placing long term shorts at this resistance level. If we break above this level, that is extremely significant, especially after rejection and then really popping back above it. That's just as bullish as it possibly gets. So we have to see what happens here. But this is definitely a chart to watch. And that's another reason why I wouldn't be adding to longs right here. This is a resistance level right here. You don't want to buy just under resistance. You want to buy once the resistance has been broken. So that's something to watch for. If you're looking for a buying opportunity, that's another one right here. A break of this trend line right there. You know, however crazy that might be, and it would be pretty historic. And that's the kind of thing that we're expecting in the next few weeks, historic things happening. We have to trade the chart in front of us. And if we have that resistance broken, we're going to be trading that accordingly. And we're going to be making updates on that. And by the way, just look at the MACD as well. This is extremely bullish in terms of momentum. This type of rejection when you have the series line, come into the signal line, come into the signal line and reject off of it. That's bullish. So that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.